Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel. Um, today uh, you guys saw the first exhibit on a brand new series I'm going to add or well, make to the channel, which is going to be an aquarium called Paradise Cove. It's actually my first aquarium I've ever done. Um, the reason why you're seeing three buildings first before the exhibit is because I wasn't planning on making this an actual series. This was just going to be a personal project for fun, but I just decided to add it to the channel since I started making videos. Why not, I guess? Um, um, the first building we're seeing is the admissions building that has a staff lounge in it, which is the area we're right we're in right now. There's also a small office right here. Um, these are these took me a while to make because of all the scenery items I added to the building um, because I am addicted to scenery downloads. <laughs> Most of my downloads are scenery, uh, and some of these are actually fairly new. Now we're going to the ticket booth, booth, that ticket booth area. And I noticed my game was paused, so I um, pause it now. And uh, the uh, ticket area has a meeting area in it, but I didn't show it in this video. Um, we're going now into the gift shop where I was originally going to add um, Whale Bites um, aquarium gift shop items but I couldn't get it because it was no longer available on his website. Their website is down so I, I couldn't get it. We have some goldfish in the corner which were intentionally going to be um, like a fish that someone would buy if they went into the pet shop the pet shop oh my god into the gift shop i mean but it could be whatever um this little room is the storage area of the gift shop and i tried to make it cluttered and messy just to keep it a bit realistic in a sense right now we are going to leave the gift shop and go to the actual exhibit um you noticed that um while i was making these stairs in the beginning i skipped it and there was this huge uh already made structure that's because when i was doing these stairs it took me so long to make and even though i did that the you can see the train is kind of wonky um it took me so long that i just forgot about recording and I continued until it was done and then I remembered I had to record and I recorded the rest of the process without that structure added. Um, the main idea was a bottom part where you can see the seals from underground, underground, underwater and the top part where you can see them from above. Um, the actual exhibit. It's pretty rocky since uh, sub-Antarctic fur seals actually like being in rocky terrain when it's breeding season. That's what I tried to imitate. I actually have one male and five females here, which is five or four. I don't remember very well, but, but it's not far from reality where a male can have up from four to twelve females on his little herd during breeding season. Um, there's one of them right now, which I am going to go downstairs to check him out. And, uh, since he was so fascinating to look at, I actually had to cut off part of the recording because I forgot and I just stared at him for a solid three to five minutes of recording of footage. So I had to cut off part of it. But I'm happy that they could move around and actually enjoy the exhibit very well. Even though I don't like this skin, because I have other seals that have better skins, he was pretty cool. He was pretty cute, and I enjoyed watching him after a while. 
We're going now into the indoor enclosure where there's a mini vet area, which is actually required in a, in the husbandly handbooks, just to keep the animal from being so stressed from moving uh, by moving them to an actual clinic that's farther away from the exhibit. That little uh, tank there is to hold the live fish. Uh, for the seals, it's not necessary to give seals in captivity live fish, but some people do it. I've seen it done with uh, sea otters. This is one of the bathrooms, which is another requirement. Uh, the exhibit needs to have an area for the staff to take a shower after they work with them because nobody wants to smell like fish all day. Um, that's one of our females in the indoor exhibit. Only the male went into the water, which was weird, um, but it's okay, I guess. They might not like it as much. Um, it looks really crowded in here, but that's probably what I was going for. But they can move around happily since the hitbox isn't, is barely there. I don't think they have hit, hitboxes, these rocks. So it was, it was fairly easy to move around in. Well, yeah, I guess uh, this is it. This is the exhibit. I'm going to go underwater so you can see the seal better. But if you guys like this video, uh, I guess leave a like and subscribe for other videos. And you can leave suggestions for the next animal in this series. I'm, gonna, I'm going to try, try to upload weekly. It's not a guarantee, but I'm starting to do it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.